Ali radiallahu anhu was always poor, always in poverty, right? His whole life is defined by intense poverty. And the Prophet ﷺ himself lived in great poverty. So it's not like the Prophet ﷺ made it and then left his daughter uh, in poverty. No, the Prophet ﷺ himself was in deep poverty until, until the day of his death, right? The Prophet ﷺ never moved into a palace. He never ate more than a meal a day and it was usually just some dates and water. Prophet ﷺ was in poverty. So Ali and Fatima reached the point of extreme poverty. And Ali radiallahu anhu developed back pain and Fatima radiallahu anha developed blisters in her hands because of the amount of work that they had to do just to stay afloat. And she was exhausted. And so Ali radiallahu anhu said to Fatima radiallahu anha, why don't you ask the Prophet sallallahu if he could provide a khadim, a servant, a maid, someone to help out in the home. And Fatima radiallahu anha said that I'm too embarrassed to ask him. Ali radiallahu anhu said, why don't you just go and just inquire, just see if the Prophet ﷺ, you know, the Prophet ﷺ had high emotional intelligence. He could tell what his daughter would want or, you know, and, and he would be able to read it and the Prophet ﷺ would likely, as we know his character, would likely go ahead and say, yes, fine, <laughs> you know, here you go. And so Fatima went to the house of the Prophet ﷺ after Salat al-Fajr, after the Fajr prayer the next day and found the Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, and uh, inquired about the Prophet And Aisha radiallahu anha said that the Prophet had not come home yet. So he was still in the masjid uh, doing remembrance. He was praying, he was remembering Allah. He was supplicating as he would do for a long time after the morning prayer, after Fajr, up until the time of sunrise.